How's it going everyone? Welcome back to Forza Horizon 5. The Hall of Fame is something brand new to Forza Horizon 5. Sounds cool at first, we don't really know too much about it, but in today's video I'm going to tell you what it is, how to unlock it, and uh, yeah, just everything you need to know about the Hall of Fame basically. It actually takes quite a while to sort of get to it, which is why I'm making this video because lots of people will be wondering for ages, how do you do it? Well, at the Horizon Mexico Festival, the first festival you unlock, over here you will see sort of a golden star on the map, which is the Hall of Fame leaderboard. Now, it may not let you access this at first, which is why I'm sort of making this video, but the Hall of Fame is essentially a Hall of Fame. This tells you the top Horizon players in the world, the people that have earned Thank you for that, that was rude. The people that have earned the most accolades. Now, if you don't know what the accolades are, the accolades are essentially challenge points. Every time you do a mission, a race, a challenge, you'll get given accolades and they stack up. If you look in the top right hand corner, I have 271,000. So essentially, the Hall of Fame is a leaderboard with who has the most accolades in total. It's as simple as that. Basically, if you come to Horizon Adventure, you'll see that every single festival is here. The Mexico Festival, the Apex, the Wild, the Baja, the Rush, and the Street Scene, including their upgrades. Now, to get onto the Hall of Fame, you actually need to complete and buy every festival and every upgrade. All of them, all of them, all of them, just every single one. It takes a bit of time to do, but you have to unlock every single one. As you can see on screen, I buy the last one here and it sort of tells me what's coming next. Have a listen. Final piece of the puzzle. You want to do the honours or shall I? Great! They're filming for the new Vanguard Force movie and the star Frankie Beaumont was asking around for you. Horizon Mexico is complete! How'd you feel? Couldn't have done it without you, Haley. <laughs> well, obviously, but I couldn't have done it without you either, Superstar. Nice work. All right, enough messing around. Let's get you into this Hall of Fame, shall we? Back on the road. However, it doesn't unlock straight away after this. Once you've completed them all, you'll be given one last objective to get. I think it's just over 10,000 accolades, as you can see on screen. Once you've unlocked all the festivals and upgrades, it will say this. And as soon as you've completed this last section of accolades, it will put you in the Hall of Fame. Once again, I've got some gameplay of that on screen right now. What does our favourite superstar have to say about their name up in lights? I'm speechless. Actually, it's funny. You took more than any other Horizon driver I've ever met. But you know what? I'll just say you're not finished yet. The festival playlist is full of exclusive rewards and drivers who give anything to line up against a legend like you. Now, once you've completed that, you will officially be on the Hall of Fame. It'll tell you to come down to the Horizon Mexico Festival here. You can come into this leaderboard and you will be able to see, you know, where you are on the Hall of Fame. Me, for example, I'm 62. It's not great. I'm hoping to be higher by the end of the day after I do some grinding. And as you can see on the Horizon Wall of Fame sort of thing, you'll actually see banners of everyone that's on there. You can see Joe over there. You can see me over there with Jeremy Clarkson's face. And when you unlock the Horizon Hall of Fame, you will also get access to the Hall of Fame accolades as well. This is the hardest accolade section to unlock. And there is some serious prizes in there. There's a Turk to Super, there's a Sport Audi Quattro, there's a Rally Fighter, there's a RX3, um, there's a 240Z Formula Drift, there's an R4, RCF Lexus, a Vulcan AMR Pro. These are the hardcore sort of challenges which take the longest to do. The ones on the right hand side especially complete all Horizon Open accolades, complete all the Eliminator accolades all of the car collector accolades. This section will take the longest to complete because this is so the sort of the, uh, the finale section. And there is actually some rare cars within here. For example, the Lamborghini Gallardo, a very simple car, but the only way to get this Gallardo is to reach the Hall of Fame, buy all of the houses, and then get this accolade. You can't get the Gallardo in the auto show or a wheel spin or anything like that, just this accolade. So there are some rare cards here and that's something that just comes with the Hall of Fame. And the big daddy of prizes is this one here, complete all Hall of Fame accolades except this one. 
gives you the Koenigsegg Regera. This is probably one of the last accolades you'll unlock in the entire game. It would be nice to have a better reward than the Koenigsegg Regera, but that's it anyway. Now I believe there may be an achievement for reaching the Hall of Fame, I'm not 100% sure. I can't check my achievements um, because they're not sort of activated yet. I still get them, but they're not activated. But it will be very interesting to see who's at the top of the list. I'm sure someone's going to smash them all out. The only thing that may be an issue though is obviously there is a certain amount of accolades. You know, once you've completed them all, that's it. You can't get any more. So there may be a point in time where everybody at the top just has the same amount of accolades because there's no more to get. Now obviously with expansion 1 and expansion 2 in the in the distant future, it's probably going to add some accolades which will make them some more, but maybe that means repeatable accolades should be a thing to get over um, sort of the limit because I'm sure at some point people are going to start reaching the most accolades possible and then there won't be a first place. But yeah guys, that is how you get onto and unlock the Horizon Hall of Fame and that's everything that comes with it complete all of the festivals, complete all of the upgrades, do one last accolade collecting session, over 10,000 of them, doesn't take too long, come down to the Hall of Fame and boom, you're on it. Now if you want my tips to get there as fast as possible, it means getting accolades as fast as possible. Now here is what I recommend. Every time you get a token to use in this Horizon adventure, buy every single expedition. Don't bother with the upgrades just yet, buy every single expedition because when you come onto the map and do the expeditions like this one here, you actually get tons of accolade points. Now you sort of have to do the expeditions anyway, things that you can choose to do PR stunts, trust me. Get the Horizon Rush Outpost maxed out as m as fast as possible and do every single PR stunt. You don't have to do it three stars, but obviously the three stars in this game are honestly quite easy. If you need a load of accolade points and you can't be bothered to do races or you just want to get it done quickly, PR stunts are definitely the quickest. Just storm through all of them and you'll be on the Hall of Fame in no time. Now, I'm going to leave it there, guys. That is the Hall of Fame in Forza Horizon 5. Get on it and see how high you can get. But anyway, guys, leave a like if you've enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already for more Horizon 5 content. And I'll see you all later.